Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming out. This is the Pat Carroll tribute set. And for those of you who are new to the barn today, um, we have the Carroll clan here, Pat's family. We're really excited. If you guys want to stand. Stand and get low. So for those of you who don't know Pat, and maybe who only know Pat through his music, um, I just wanted to read something quick that me and Becky wrote together. Uh, I, sp I spent nine months with Pat and the Carroll family in and out of the hospital helping to care for him with this battle for cystic fibrosis, which ended in May. And um, I'll read this so that you'll get to know him a bit if you don't already. Pat has an indelible spirit that marked his work as a social worker, an earth worker, a sound engineer, a musician, a music producer, a basketballer, a beloved son, brother, nephew, friend, and true love. He electrified people with his humor, his talent, his generosity, and his open heart, and he disarmed them with his honesty. Pat was all of these things despite and because of his battle with cystic fibrosis. Pat's legacy lies in the growing community of people who continue cultivating their best selves in awe of and in solidarity with Pat. And we're very lucky that Pat was able to leave us with an album um, just a few months before he passed called Glow in the Dark. And we're gonna play some songs from that album today and we're gonna play some original tunes that his close friends have been inspired by uh, because of Pat. So we're gonna start out with Fiona Dickinson. She's gonna play a tune that's inspired by Pat and I'm gonna join her. my hands and 
Anna Dickinson. Next up, we're going to have a close friend of Pat's, Corey DeRussia from Lansing. He's going to do a new song that he just wrote for Pat. And Corey was also able to take over Pat's job. Pat's runs sound for the Earthwork Family Weekend every spring for a long time. And Corey took over this year, and he did a great job. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Um, well, I was privileged to know Pat for a really long time. Um, we worked on a lot of music together and made a lot of brilliant things together and had a lot of laughs. Um, and I'm just glad to be able to share this with everybody today. Um, uh, this song I just finished up a couple of days ago, so uh, I don't know if it's done yet. You guys let me know. So, here goes. Somehow 
see you again somehow. See you again somehow. See you again somehow. Thank you. Next up, we have T Rex Roth. So, Tony is going to play um, a mashup of two tunes one by Pat and one by our dear friend Elizabeth Pixley Fink. And this guy right here has done so much for us and the Carroll family and Pat in the last year, and he's been a real rock and given us comfort and support and laughter, and he's been the guy that I can call at any time of the night to help out. And Pat loves him a whole lot, so I'm excited for you guys to hear him. Yeah, Tony. Tony! I haven't broken anything yet up here. Um, welcome to Sunday Afternoon in the Barn, brought to you by Kleenex. <laughs> I, uh, I hope I can make it through this tune, it's a couple tunes put together, but, um, sorry, I guess you have to talk into this thing. But uh, I lost my composure so much during Sam's set that I figured maybe it's all out of me, right? We're gonna go on that theory. You good, Brian? Okay. Um, Elizabeth Pixley Fink is a friend of ours, a friend of a lot of people in here. She uh, wrote a beautiful album called Bloodroot, and that album, was in part, uh, I guess, produced uh, by Pat. At least he worked on it in some fashion. I don't know all the terms, but um, that album helped a lot of people through a lot of things, a lot of loss, because it was written after a big loss that Elizabeth had uh, of a friend of hers. And uh, Pat's music uh, has that same sort of flavor to it. And uh, so I put together two songs, one from her album called If the song's called If You're Gone, and also uh, Pat's song called Too Much Hat. No, it's not called Too Much Hat. <laughs> called Bulletproof. <laughs>
Tony Ross. Tony's presence um, is a real beacon in Kalamazoo. He offers the third floor of his home for musicians and he cultivates a lot of community there. And it reminds me that Seth and May do the same thing with this farm and with earthwork music. And they have been such an inspiration to everybody on this stage and given us a lot of courage and strength to express ourselves. And our I'm continually amazed by all that they do and all that they give. And one example is that Pat is really well loved. Pat was really well supported. We had a huge community following us through what we called the Fat Peril campaign because Kat's, <clears throat> Pat's moniker is Cat Peril. <laughs> Pat Carol, Cat Peril. Um, so we had a lot of people that wanted to play today and Seth and May graciously offered to cut their tune um, because 
that's what they do. I mean, they're just so good at creating spaces for people to express themselves and so humble. And so I just want to give a round of applause to Seth and May. They were also staunch supporters of Pat and Pat's music and Pat releasing his album on Earthwork is why so many people have heard it already. And we've had, we had 15 listening parties across the country with friends and we'd love to have more. If anybody wants to host a listening party, get a hold of us. So next up we have Breathe I'll Breathe, or at least members of. And I believe they're gonna sing a song that we sang to Pat. <laughs> um. So they're gonna sing a song that we sang to Pat when we were in the hospital. So I was so lucky to, uh, through the winter, going over to the carols and just having an amazing time with the family. And there was a lot of witching in the kitchen. Yeah. There was one time we made nachos and I put two blueberries <laughs> somewhere in the nachos. And just luckily, by chance, Pat and I got the blueberries. <laughs> and, um, so if you're making nachos and you have two blueberries, try it out. Someone might be lucky. We tuned down to the sitar. Can you hear the sitar OK? And if you all feel like singing along, that'd be really special. If I clean your windows, 
Would you go outside If I wear the same clothes all day tomorrow Would I fool you to think You were standing still If I sweep your hallway If I clean your windows Would you go outside your home 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 Skyhook The Pack Thanks so much Thanks, Micah and Trevor. Micah, how'd you do in the basketball tournament? <laughs> the third? <laughs> Next up, we have um, our friend Tyler Bassett, who's going to play a version of Stay Up Late, which is a song by Pat on Glow in the Dark. And Tyler used to play with Pat in a great band called the New Sprites from Kalamazoo. So much style in that band. And uh, I think he'll take it away. Yeah. So I also, um, I should stay still. So, played in the barn last year with Pat, and uh, this song was kind of cut from the set. Um, he didn't think that we could pull it off. So uh, I kind of, I, I liked it a lot, and I really wanted to play it, so, um, you know, I kind of, I got him now. So. <laughs> Playing it anyway. <laughs> Hard to play the piano and sing, I haven't quite figured it out yet. But.
Jenny helped us move Pat's piano a couple weeks ago. She's a boss. Um, and of course, Dan Heaps on drums, who plays on Glow in the Dark for Pat's record, too. So next up, we're going to have Zach Watson play Separate Beds. Separate Beds is a track off of um, Pat's album as well. Hey, everybody. So, um, on the same day that Pat passed away, um, my friend uh, Owen Williamson drowned at Twin Lakes Park in Traverse City. Um, yeah, <laughs> intense day. It was, it was rough. <laughs> um, but before I even knew Pat had passed, I went home and in tears I played his, I played his songs. And um, it, it, his music is healing me to this day and um so thanks to pat and thanks to owen Street. 
Next up, we're going to have John Tim, a close friend of Pat's, play um, Car Crash, another song from Pat's record. John, Tim, and Pat used to play in a band called Blackwater Valley Songs that played in this barn several years ago. Hearing those two voices together is quite an experience if you want to check out. I think there's still some CDs left. I heard a story about that. <laughs> More than a few. Imagine a sickness like a ball of light living inside of me. I tried my whole life to cough it out. One big push, and all of the darkness alive in me. These my lungs and legs, it's out of my mouth. But diseases never leave that way And a dream of a car crash Some kind of wake-up call to Keep me on my toes To remind her she could lose me anytime And it's been so long But I'm learning how to say And I wonder if you still kiss the same the Pat Carroll Foundation, which was just recently created. So you guys are going to get to meet Becky Carroll and Big Pat Carroll. Come on up, 
Becky. Come on up. How you doing? This is my oldest son, Rory, right here. Big Rory, he's my backup. This is my wife, Becky. We'd like to, our family would like to thank the Earthworks family for all that they've done. The uh, monument out in front will be cherished by our family forever. It's outstanding. Patrick loved this place. As a matter of fact, we, we brought Patrick over with us today in his ashes, and we're planning on spreading them around. Becky used to say, Patrick hated this, Becky used to say Patrick could light up a room. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised after spreading these ashes around today. The skies part, the sun will come up, <laughs> and Mississauga County will look fantastic. Yeah. So look for that later on this afternoon. One of the things that we have had, just, just recently with the support we've had from Earthworks and all of Patrick's friends, but we have had support most of Patrick's 25 years. We wouldn't have gotten through what we got through without the support, emotionally and financially. And Becky and I, for as long as we can remember, we have kept everything that we received. And with that in mind, we just established a foundation. And it's a two-part foundation that hits on Patrick's loves. One of his loves was this place in the two different facets that we hope to help with are Harvest Gathering and Family Week. And we have, in conjunction with Big Brothers Big Sisters, are going to make sure that the bigs, either families or individual children, will be able to come over here and sample what this is like. So that's, that's one of the parts. Because this is something, Patrick, I mean, he would love this. And uh, the other part is having to do with seeds at Gilbert Park, Twin Lakes, every year. Kids who probably won't have the opportunity are brought together with the Earthworks group, and they spend a week learning about music instruments. And so that's another facet that we hope to have some positive influence with young children. So those are the two things that we are hoping to get kids involved in music the way Patrick did. And Becky will give you an idea how you can help out with that. <laughs> we do. I just want to say thank you before I say anything else. Um, in the last year, when <laughs> Patrick was so sick, one of the gifts that we had was getting to know all of his wonderful friends in the Earthworks family. and. I don't think there was a week that went by that we didn't have someone over at our house keeping him company and keeping us company. And we are so grateful that we have this big loving family, extended family, and we really appreciate it. But like Pat said, um, we also feel really grateful that people have supported us. There's been a lot of fundraising going on and um, we wanted to take that money and do something to further Pat's legacy and give back. Pat always wanted to donate, uh, be a donor, but he couldn't because of his 
infections, and this is just another way that he could give back. And um, so we have started an endowment with the Grand Traverse Regional Community Foundation, and they have invested the money that was donated on Pat's behalf, and they will forever be giving that money to Big Brothers Big Sisters, who will in turn select um, Big Brothers and Little Brothers, or Big Sisters and Little Sisters, and also the Little um, Littles families to participate in um, the School of Rock with Bill Watson, and also with the Earthworks um, happening on the family weekend and the um, harvest gathering. And then there is another scholarship fund that we're starting after the first of the year, and that will be for a student or students that are attending Western Michigan University who have been accepted into the field of social work or in sound engineering. And those were two of Patrick's other loves of his life, and um, that will be a competitive scholarship. So if you ever have a need to or a desire to donate to a charity, um, you can find under Grand Traverse Regional Community Foundation uh, the Patrick Carroll Endowments and Scholarships. And uh, just keep us in mind, and uh, we thank you all for your love and support over the years. lot of us. Thank you. Do we have time for one more tune? This is our friend Graham Parsons from Kalamazoo. Jitus Baggs, otherwise known as Grant Littler, and Drew Tyner. And these guys represent um, the Double Felix Collective in Kalamazoo, which is a big collective of musicians that are banding together and compromising to be able to make as much good music as possible. They own a collective studio, and they were great friends with Pat. They were inspiration. Andy Catlin, I had yet to introduce, who was playing bass, helps run the studio, and played with Pat last year. So they're going to play Parachute for you. Uh, I don't want to say too much, but I do want to say that um, I learned a lot when Pat passed and from Pat, but. The main thing I learned is that we shouldn't hesitate to love those in your life, um, to tell them how amazing they are, and to continue to show that while we're still here. So yeah, please don't hesitate to love everyone in your life. Thanks. 
guys. Is Lily Wolf in the audience? Lily Wolf? So me and Elizabeth led a Living With Loss workshop yesterday, which was really profound for both of us. And it was great to have Lily there. And we don't have much time left, but um, Lily was a big help with our Fat Peril campaign. And she helped, she did yoga nidra with us. She helped us to slow down and handle our, the anxiety of the past year. So I wanted her to say a few quick words. Yeah, this workshop we did yesterday um, was really helpful for those of us were, that were there and kind of um, talking about how to continue our relationships with those who have passed on and trans, um, transition to another place in another form. And as a yoga teacher and someone that studies the breath, I think the breath is a way to, to help do that, to connect to those that we are trying to still love and to receive love from and so I thought it would be <laughs> Sam and I thought it would be cool to breathe together a little bit and um, connect to Pat collectively and to David Fetzer and Bob Russell and anyone else that any of us have lost along the way and as we breathe and as we become aware of our breath we become more present and I think the more present we are the, the easier it is to to connect in, to drop into that place where we can feel feel our, our love, you know, for our loved ones and to receive their love and continue this relationship to, you know, continue the relationship just like any of our other relationships in our lives, right? And it takes time and it takes being present. So if you want, you can close your eyes. You don't have to. Um, you could put your hands on your chest or your belly somewhere just to kind of help feel the breath. And um, we'll just <clears throat> kind of get comfortable adjusting if you need to. And just feel, feel your breath. And just bring your awareness to your heart center, feeling the belly ribs and chest fill and empty. And just kind of see and feel your heart filled with love and light. And first really share that with yourself, loving yourself as you are in this body, in this moment, in this space. And then start to offer that love to Pat. And anyone else. Sending them gratitude, peace, and compassion. And receiving that same gratitude, love, compassion back into your heart from them. Let's all take one deep inhale together in through the nose. And then take a great big sigh. Rub your, your palms together. Create some friction, some heat. And when they get nice and warm, go ahead and cup your palms over the eyes. And then slowly let the light back in. Bring yourself back. That concludes the Pat Carroll tribute. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you for supporting us and supporting Pat all year. We really appreciate it.